matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, some differences in height and reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight Championship of the world. It's first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Surreal Bagamaka. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Nice loop punch. Nice job by him there to slip that off him. Came of inches right there. Wow. It was 
good night if that landed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Left hand punch from the clinch. Boom. Huge body shot. Left hook, right hand. Oh, straight right. Oh, he's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Man, Man these guys are throwing back and forth. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, a huge block there. Not there. And he landed the right hand there. Just misses there with the left. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. If you knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy, he got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, nice. This fight, folks, you see he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC Thomas Sudhali. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Round two here. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big punch land. Ooh. Fury gets hit with that overhand. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Unable to connect there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most... Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And they separate. And I'm going to A single collar tie. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Oh, straight right! Try to establish that jab. Oh! All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's, oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around. Maybe an opportunity to get a choke here. Yeah, he lifts the head and goes under. It looks like he's trying to get a bulldog choke.
You don't see this very often. Most times it happens at a family barbecue. Ha. The only time we've seen it in the octagon is Robbie Lawler versus Ben And this ben might Austin. just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Switching stances here. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Fury gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Looking to land the right just out of range. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. Another clinch position. Big call for punch land. Oh. Now he gets back to range. Trying to stay in this fight. So far. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Ooh, big shot lands. Straight right, he misses. Oh! He's out! He's gone, he's gone! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel. That's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 19 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson. Still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean